And the next couple of months, I got to get down and finish coasting. Uh, not that I have to finish anything, but I think I told you. These weren't bad. You get four of them with the uh, anti-corrosion, supposedly, caskets for $9.99, which wasn't too bad, actually. Just to have them around for when you need them, they're worth having. Uh, they don't look bad. They're a little thinner than normal, but there's plenty of contact there. So, so now I can hook up the batteries too. So anyway, I gotta get down to Coasty. What had happened was, uh, hold on a second, and I'll tell you. Um, when we put the, when we, I actually had Ray help me with that because I had to put the. Uh, I had to take the rear end out completely, which was the drive gears, the drive motors, uh, the box, everything, the axles, the wheels, it all came out as one, and it was heavy. Taking it out wasn't too big of a deal, uh, but trying to get it back in when you're trying to line up 16 bolts. What it was is the case had a lip on it all the way around it. And there were 16 studs coming out of the frame that you had to maneuver this in while it has axles and wheels and everything else on it and no room uh, with everything else in the way. So, and being somewhat heavy and sloppy and it was just a pain in the ass. So Ray came over to help me lift it in there, which was good. So, when we went to put it in, which we got it in, uh, but the axle was a little bit wider. Now, what had happened was, I ordered new wheels for it. Well, the wheels, if I ordered them directly from the joint that sold them, the wheels were like $30 a piece. You know, I found them online for 10. You know, and then they wanted to charge like an extra $15, I think it was. Uh, I think these numbers are right. I know it was extremely high. An extra $15 for the gear uh, spacer because they had a gear where the belt went to and then I had a spacer that adapted to that and adapted to the wheels. I think I threw the wheels out. But, um, and the wheels were drilled out. You could tell that they drilled them out. So the wheels weren't even made for this unit. They bought the wheels. They didn't fit. So you can see where they oblong the holes. You know, I mean, this it was really a chop job. You know, I mean, for something that cost as much as it did, this company did a real chop chop job so anyway uh, the axle that was there uh, just about fit the wheels that were on it again you know they didn't spare any expenses at this point they just did what they had to do well when I ordered the new wheels I ordered a little bit bigger they were a half inch bigger, which gives me a quarter inch all the way around. And they were made of a different material, more of a grip material. Uh, and they were about a uh, quarter inch wider. Well, because of that quarter inch wider, the axle wouldn't fit because it was that close. So luckily, I had an axle here, over there. And just by chance, I have these things laying around. I have an axle for <laughs> a large remote control toy that costs like... I don't know what we was, twelve, fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars. But anyway, um, but that was a little bit longer. But it worked. It fit all the wheels. It fit the shafts. It fit everything. The gears. Just it was a little bit longer, which it had to be in order to get everything on there. And that's where this has to be. I may have already done this. I'm just talking old school now, old news, I guess. Not so much old school, but old news. I'm going to try to draw it from the bottom. So the bottom of the unit came down like this. This is all fiberglass. And then up, and then it came up. This is the hull part. This is the bottom part. And it was like that on both sides. 
the box fit in here with the axle and the box was actually way down sitting upright well the axle was actually in here I'm sorry the box was here more sorry about that so the axles were right almost against this piece of fiberglass it was tight enough to where you couldn't get in there to get a wrench in there you know it, you couldn't there's no way possible to get in between the fiberglass and the nut that was holding the wheel on the carter pin you couldn't get to anything it was like you were lucky if you had a sixteenth of an inch there or so if you look at some of the videos back on uh, uh, yeah Coasties Coasties 24 I think it is uh, you'll see what I'm talking about <clears throat> so in this box however you got the axle coming across in here the wheels are in here all right and you have no room the wheels are here and the dry shaft goes across to here like that and then you have a big motor here and another big motor here this is all inside and then you have pulleys and gears and all that kind of shit and then you had around the edges you had all those little holes that had to be put into the studs that you had to screw around with anyhow Uh, the sleeves come in handy for something but the new axle we're just going to do this with the new axle being too long we had to cut a three inch hole in this now looking at it sideways you're looking at something like this you know and the other piece this back part here would be this part and the axle has to fit in here but in order to get into there to make everything fit we had to drill a three inch hole in this part, meaning right here. So we drilled a three inch hole right here. Now because this was all this, it had plenty of support, so there was no problem. And we had to drill another three inch hole on this side. So this here way, we had a three inch hole there, a three inch hole there. So that the axle now went through into this little empty void. I think you're I think I'm doing it to where you can follow. I know, again, so I get to, you know, I may confuse you doing it. So, at the end of this, we had to tap out new holes for the carter pins, you know, <laughs> with a washer, and so on. So, Ray came over to help me because we had to not only do that, but now we had to try to pry this open a bit, about an inch, inch and a half, without cracking the rest of the fiberglass. Uh, which I did, uh, we did this before I did the body work. Because I had touch. Well, if you look at the videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, if you got nothing to do someday, there's, I don't know, 50, 60 videos of there of me working on it, swearing at it, drilling holes through it, body work, painting. I had to mix the paint colors myself because they couldn't mix uh, topside, which is a boat paint. They couldn't mix that down at the depot. So, anyway. Uh, so what happened now is they took it everything was supposed to be done They took it but when they went to use it because I got no room here to use it and The only way I can use it is I'd have to bring the trailer back Well, I had the trailer back there, but put it in the trailer pull the trailer out front uh -huh, Open the trailer to take it out and try running it and if it didn't work Then I'd have to put it back on the trailer pull the trailer back again. So anyway, I'm thinking it's, it's everything should be okay now there's a twofold problem here. Remember, I made the wheels a little bit bigger, uh, and this is where some of the design and some of me not paying attention. So, however, I put it on. When they took it down there and they were going to use it, one of the wheels was going click, 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 and it kept wanting to go in circles. Well, that was one of the problems that it had to start with, but that was because the wheel wasn't touching. The wheel was just spinning because they were worn out completely. <clears throat> so uh, that one wheel wasn't turning well what had happened was because of this the carter pin got caught as it was trying to turn in this hole you know as the axles turning the carter pin is turning it locked in and it kind of went if the hole is like this and this comes through the carter pin kind of went one of the legs went through this way and the other one is going this way and it got caught in the hole so we got to get up under there and do something with that carter pin uh, hopefully we can get to it without screwing it up uh, and taking it all apart again. I think we can. Now the other downfall is that if you're looking at the bottom of the boat, there's the boat. 
Here's the back wheel. Well, I went a quarter inch bigger all the way around, half inch total. In the front, it has two little caster wheels. And they sit back here, actually. So with those wheels being there, let me redo this again. You're only seeing about half of that wheel because this is sitting real low with the other wheel on it, with the old wheels. It was still sitting low. So if this is the ground, the boat is kind of like that. So that wheel is barely keeping this boat front off the ground. I don't know why they did a chop job on it, but... <laughs> well, what happened, now that I've made a larger wheel, this comes down and scrapes on the ground if there's any little bumps and things, which you take the ground, a little rock, and asphalt. As soon as it catches, it, catch, and it, it won't go anywhere. Uh, and it'll start to spin. Again, which way, who the hell knows. So, uh, me, I wasn't paying attention. That could have been, I could have fixed that if I noticed it. We just got to put a bigger wheel on there, you know, again, uh, maybe instead of having the one and a half that it has, go maybe a two. You know, I might even go to two and a half, you know, I, I don't care if it goes one way or the other, as long as everything is off the ground. So that's what I got to do. So that's got to be coming up. I'll take you guys down there with me when I go. I'm not going to be anywhere where I got to worry about. Uh, recording. No, no, I'm not. Hey, if you guys happen to see any videos pop up that still have my old P.O. box on it, it's not there. It's not active. I got rid of that P.O. box. Um, what had happened was uh, they were going crazy on prices. So this is, this is stupid. It really is. Uh, so I took it off. However, I put videos, two, three videos on that will be like a year from now, two years from now. I think it'll let you jump two or three years. So every now and then a video that I posted two years ago may pop up. And if it does, I may not even know what the hell it is because I can't remember what I did yesterday, never mind what I posted two years ago. All right, so I think we're all set with that. Uh, now we got these, we do. I got the batteries, so I may, yes, may get these done, seeing that there's nothing that I can do just yet other than this. Uh, I want to get that put up, but I can do that. I'm going to put it back up there, the tablet. I got this tablet that I'm really not using. And it's got a pretty good video quality on it. It's not great, but it's as good as the one I'm using. Um, and it's a tablet, so I can also do some, what you call it with it. I used to have it up here. Up there, on a bracket that I made. I took that bracket down and modified it for the uh, Samsung tablet that I use in the van. Uh, so I think I'm going to put it back up there because uh, the video on it, and not only that, but it has a large screen so I can see where the hell it is that I'm recording. Okay, let me get the... Okay. I had all the wires that I needed to hook up. So I could have put them all on the batteries, on here, put them over there on the batteries, and tied the batteries right into the post. And now I can't find the darn things. Oh, I gotta do that too. Let me pull this out so I remember. Hey, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I wanna make a dancing girl run or a uh, twinkle twinkle star type thing. I remember that I 
have ends on both. It does. Uh, see Dolphy. This one I have to put an end on it. So let's see if I can use this to get this off here. I left a little extra just in case I needed it. Very nice. 